Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In the previous video, we designed different types of flip box using Elementor Pro. Now in this video, we are going to create price table using Elementor Pro and one of the free plugin. So here you can see two different types of pricing table. These two are created using Elementor Pro plugin. Now, if you do not have Elementor Pro plugin, you can also install a free plugin, which will give you an option to create a pricing table. This pricing table is created using a free plugin. So in this video, we will create two different types of pricing table, one using Elementor Pro and another using a free plugin. So let's start with the video. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and we are going to create price table using Elementor Pro. So first we will create price table using Elementor Pro plugin. If you do not have Elementor Pro plugin, then we will install a free plugin using the free plugin we will create a price table so let's start with the elementor pro plugin so here i'm going to add a new section and let's add some padding the top and bottom padding to the section okay now here let's search for price so here you will see price table click on it drag it and drop it here so this one looks too big so i'm going to add new column so we are going to make it three column. Okay, so this is the basic layout of the price table in Elementor Pro. Now click on this icon and you will see the settings for this price table. So it has five different sections. The first one is header. The second one is pricing. Third one is this features, then footer. And this is the ribbon. So let's start with header. Now here it says enter your title. So let me change it. And this will be the name of your plan or the product. So I'm I'm using some dummy content here. So this will be called as bronze plan. And uh, let me have some description here. Let's say good for beginner. So this is the short description. This is so this is the HTML tag for the title. Let me set it to H2. You can change the size of the font in the style section. We will do it later. Now here pricing this is the pricing now you can change the currency right now it is set to dollar you can also change the currency here you will see the list of currencies i can select rupees also here you will see the rupee so let me change it back to dollar so you can change the currency according to your currency okay now this is the currency format one two three four point five six this is the default one and this is the other one so here you will see the dot nine nine the point nine nine is not at the top okay this is the default one you will see the position of the cents at the top and this is the monthly the period of your plan so you can change it to monthly or you can change it to yearly okay so let me change it back to monthly so here you can change the content now this is the features list so this is the list here you can change the icon if you click on icon you will see many different icons here so you can change any one of them so let me choose this one right now here you can change the text i'm going to say okay so this is the first feature let's go to second feature change the icon uh, let's add some dummy content this is the third feature all right if you want to add item you can simply click on add item and it will show you next item or you can copy this one okay here i need to change the icon you can copy this feature list and here you can change the content so this is how you can add content or this is how you can add the features list okay now let's move on to the next footer so this is the footer button click here you can change the content here you can change the title 
let's say buy now or you can say subscribe and this is the place where you can add link to the button if you have paypal button link you can add the people button link here or you can add the link to your pricing page or the payment page of your website so this is the link now this is the text element here you will see this text element you can change this small text all right so this is the small text now this is the ribbon you will see the ribbon here you can change right now it says popular you can change it to let's say beginner now we are going to change the style so go to the style section here you can change the background color of this header so let me change it to let's say dark blue or you can change to whatever color you want from here okay now i think the and if you want to add padding you can add padding right now it looks good to me so i'm not going to change the padding the title color here you can change the title color just make it somewhat yellow okay now you can also change the size of the title from here let's say 25 or whatever size you want to change you can change it from here it says it's a spelling mistake bronze plan okay now typography now this is for the subtitle let's change the color and let's change the size also done now let's move on to the pricing section this is the pricing section uh, let's change the background color for the pricing section also all right now let's change the color here you will see the change in the color you can change the size of the text and this is the size of the currency symbol you will see the currency symbol here now this is the position you can change it to before or after right now it is set to top you can change it to middle or to the bottom so i'm going to set it to middle and i'm going to change the size also okay so this one looks good and now fractional part this is the fractional part you can change the size here and you can also change the position right now it is at the top you can change it to middle or to the bottom all right so let me have it at the top let's change the size all right so this one looks good now this is the time monthly or you can say the period now let me change the color to black all right now let's go to the next section that is features i think we'll need to add some padding here so let's add some padding to the top and bottom all right now let's change the color the background color let's say this one looks good and change the color text color and if you want to change the size you can change the size also and you can change the alignment to the top left right or center divider this is the divider yes if you want to have divider you can have divider and let me change the color to black and you will see the divider here weight so you can change the weight of the divider width this is the width full width you can make it 100 and it will go full width okay now this is the gap between the feature list so i'm going to change it to 20 okay now this is the footer and we are going to change the background color for the footer also let's have somewhat blue light blue all right now this is the button settings right now it is set medium i'm going to change it to large and change the background color for the button let's say dark blue let's have it to red all right now this is the text color if you want to change you can change the text color on the button this is the border type for the button okay now this is the additional info i'm going to change it to dark blue all right so this one looks good okay now the next section is a ribbon so this is the ribbon right now it is green i'm going to change it to let's say orange okay, this one looks good all right now let's see how does this look so this is how the pricing table will look now we need to add a border here also so let's go back and go to advance and here you will see the border we are going to add border to the entire section let's select solid 
and width will be 1. Alright, now let's see how does this look. Okay, so this one looks good. So I'm going to update this one. Now if you want to add another price table, this is for the bronze plan. You can add similar to this middle section and you can add another plan here. So let's see, right click on it and click on copy. Now here, right click and click on paste. So you will have the similar price table here. You can make changes accordingly. So I'm going to change it to silver plan. Okay, good for let's say advanced. And pricing will be let's say 59.99 monthly. And features. So all the features included in bronze plan plus these are the other features you will get with the silver plan. Okay, now this is the buy now button. You can change the link to buy now button according to the plan or the payment and this is the ribbon let's say advanced here all right so this is the ribbon now we are going to change the color so go to style change the header color all right now the other settings looks good if you want to change the color of the other sections you can also change the color so i'm going to keep the same colors so this is the price table that we have created using elementor pro plugin now if you do not have elementor pro then you can use a free plugin let me show you i have already installed the free plugin the name of the plugin is elements kit light so this is the plugin which will give you an option to create pricing table if you do not have elementor pro plugin let me show you the details of this plugin so this is the plugin elements kit elementor add-on so you can go to add new and in the search box type in element kit light and you will see this plugin here so let me activate it okay now let's go ahead and update this one okay now let me refresh this page all right so in this column we are going to add a new pricing table created using a free plugin so here search for price and here you will see the option pricing table and here you will see a small letters ekit that is element skit light drag it and drop it here you will see that this is completely different than the elementor pro however if you do not have elementor pro you can use this one so you can see starter this is the table title let's say premium and this is the title and this one is the small introduction or you can say the small description now this is the price tag so it says this is the currency if you can enter the currency symbol of your currency and it will show there so let's see the pricing will be let's say $75.99 and features this is the list of the features you can add the feature list so this is definitely not similar to the pro plugin so I'm going to add the features manually here paragraph or you can change it to list okay so here you will see list so under features you can choose paragraph or list so I'm going to use list so add an icon here this one and let's say the second list will be let's have some dummy text here let's copy it add one more feature okay, we need to add the icons also so let's add icons all right so these are the feature list now let's move on to the next button this is the button so let's say buy now and you can add link here for buy now button add icon if you want to add icon you can add icon and simply icon you will see the icon here okay so these are the button settings now for the other settings you can go for the premium version now let's go to style section pricing body the background color let me change the background color of the pricing so this is the background color for the entire pricing table alignment to the right or to the left now table title so this is the table title let's add some padding to the top and let's say title color change the color to 
and you here you can change the size all right the border type if you want border type you can add the border type this is table subtitle okay you can change the color size and this is the padding i do not need any padding here so i'm i'll skip the padding on the border now this is price tag so this is the price tag okay to the right to the left here you will see the changes let's make it zero and you will see the full width here now width and change the width of the price tag so i'm going to delete and it will come back now padding if you want to change the padding you can change the padding okay now here you will see the background color pink this one looks good okay so this is the background color for the price tag so these are the price tag settings you can change the price tag settings you can see the currency symbol to the right to the left into the middle okay, I'm going to change the size of the currency symbol and change it to middle text color this is the text color you can change the text color and text settings from here all right so that's it for price tag now let's say features for features you can change the alignment to the left to the right or to the center typography you can change the size and you can change the color also okay this is for the icon spacing between icon and the typography or the text now let's say button let's go to button and this is the button setting this is the typography icon size you can change the icon size from here width of the button alignment to the center to the right to the left text color and this is the background color you can change the background color from here let's use gradient this time uh, let's use let's say blue all right so we have used gradient color for the button and you can change the size of the button as well as the text on the button now custom ordering so here you will see the custom ordering you can change the position see that the position of the header has been changed price tag you can change the positions using custom ordering okay let me disable it okay now let's go to advanced and go to border and let's add some border here solid one pixel all right now let me update it let's go ahead and view the page All right, so this is how the pricing table will look. These two are created using Elementor Pro, and this one is created using a free plugin. If you do not have Elementor Pro, you can use this free plugin to create pricing table on the Elementor website. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.